It's your final day to head to the convention center for this year's Buffalo Home Show. News 4's Lauren Hall sat down with the show's special guest, the host of Bath Crashers on Do It Yourself Network. Would you ever let a stranger that you just met at the hardware store invite them over to your house to check out your bathroom without even going home to clean it first? That is the premise of the DIY network show, Bath Crashers. We are joined by the host, Matt Minster, in studio right now. You're in town for the Buffalo Home Show the second week this weekend. And the premise of this show, it makes me very nervous. I can't imagine <laughs> you coming up to me in a Lowe's and saying, can I come over and see your bathroom? That's exactly the brilliance of the premise, though. Because it does, it throws you off your game, which makes my job easier. I mean, my job is to make moments, right? So if I can already have you off balance, it's so much better. And, and then, I can, then I can mess with you. So when you're walking around and scouting mm -hmm. out people, what are qualities that you look for in people that you go up to? Outside of the big and ugly bathroom, all <laughs> things being equal, we'll, we basically we have to make a decision at some point and decide who we're going home with. We're going home with just the best candidate that day. And it turns out the best candidate of the day really is just the people who I think are the coolest. Because what we do on this show is really, really hard. And it's a lot more difficult if I don't like you. <laughs> I found that out. And, and, and there's no, it, it's, it's wasted energy. And we just, we're only going to go home with you if we initially think you're cool. So if you find me at the store, give me your cool, give, be as cool as you can be. So be now fun. you're in season 12. Do you find that people mm -hmm. come up to you now and want to participate because they of, recognize you? So you don't have to eventually or really convince people it's to not participate? As much, it's, okay. It wasn't a hard sell in the first place. Hey, do you want a free bathroom in three days? Right. Not tricky, right? Other than the fact that they're going to play along and they're going to work. And, and they do work they have a lot of say in what you do? Do you work together? Initially, mm -hmm. when I go home with you, you and I ask all my you questions, story. that's the last interaction you get with me. We're going to do the design. We're going to show up with all the stuff. Believe me, you, sack, you sign a stack of papers this thick that says this is what's happening to you. You're going to take it. And that's, that's the gist. You're done talking at that point. So, I, But again, I'm a designer. I went to school for design. That's what I do. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to leave until I'm pretty convinced I know what you want. But you only have three days. How can you make it perfect in just three days? We've gotten really good at it. <laughs> season 12, 13 episodes a season. That's 143 of those already. And I've got a good team. I mean, it takes a village to pull this off. So you've done 143 bathrooms. 143 on that show. I did another show where I did 65. How does it make you feel that there's people scattered all across America and they probably think of you While every the time they use the bathroom? I've come to, I've come to pieces with it. It's just one of it's those quite things. A legacy. You just have to accept <laughs> that this is what your life's work is at this point. I'm typecast. But it's something that it's the great equalizer. We all need to use the bathroom, of course. So what are some True. of the trends? You'll be at the Buffalo mm -hmm. Home Show today. What are some of the trends that you'll be talking to people I'm going to try to get people out of their comfort zone when they're thinking about the renovation. Sink tub, toilet, shower, great. Mm -hmm. Those are the elements, right? I'm going to throw other things at you. Like what? You name it. Uh, fireplaces, in-floor heat, espresso machines. In the bathroom. Speakers, TVs. Yeah, I can go on all day. I heard you put a bar in a bathroom one Yeah, day? I did. Full size. <laughs> How full did bar. that go? He's a bachelor. Kind Why wouldn't I do that? that? He's not a bachelor anymore. It Tell worked. us more about the espresso machine. Why wouldn't bathroom. you? I would know that I want coffee before I want oxygen in the morning. It's that important. And that even it's not even just the drinking it. Coffee is an experience, right? You smell it and you anticipate it and you need it and you want it. And if it's that's I, I love sleep. I don't know what time you wake up in the morning to the morning thing, but I love sleep. I'll do anything to buy me eight more Another minutes. great equalizer. So if it's there or it's a Saturday morning, I don't have to be anywhere right away. I can just have that experience. It's like vacation. So when you're pitching those kind of ideas to the people whose homes that you're redoing or bathrooms, do they ever look at you like you're crazy? Sure. But I ask them about what their routine is. And if their routine extends beyond, if, if I can bring something into that renovation that m breaks their routine and makes it more like the, the routine they want it to be, that's the game changer. Now it's just not just a utility room where you go to get the job done and get out. Now it's a hang. Maybe you want to take a bath. Maybe you want a glass of wine. Maybe the kids have been screaming, screaming all day. And you have the wine cooler that I put in. You can reach in, pour yourself a glass, get in the bathtub, turn some music, and there's a fireplace. Game changer. Who knew you could trick out a bathroom you this much? Totally is there anything that bathroom. you think is a no-go for the bathroom? Not really. Not yet. Um, outside of, like, kitchen appliances. <laughs> like, don't bring a toaster in the tub. But no espresso go. machine's okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, that's that doesn't have to happen in the kitchen. We don't. I'm not. I'm, I, I guess I have been putting appliances in there. No, nothing's off limits. Now, when someone say someone has to redo a lot of homes in their house, not just their bathroom. Yeah. Should they spend more or less than their bathroom? Bathrooms uh, are expensive. In terms of other rooms. Yeah, the bathrooms are expensive. The average bathroom renovation in the U.S. right now, and we're talking average, not mm -hmm. bath crashers. Average is like 17 grand. 
It's an investment. So, it's so you're going to, you're, it, it's, it, all, not all rooms are created equal. You can do $17,000 living room, nice. <laughs> $17,000 bathroom, upgrade, you know? So it's tricky. You gotta, you gotta put all your chips in. And w I mean, budget's important. Everyone's working on a different set income. You've, you've got areas that need it more than others. If you're gonna sell that house, a nice looking bathroom will help sell a house. If you're gonna live in that house forever, don't worry about any realtor's rules. Do what you want to do. That's my, that's at least what I'm going to preach this weekend. Final question for Matt Minster, Shoot. who will be at the Buffalo Home Show today. Describe the bathrooms in your home. Haven't been touched. <laughs> I'm, I get it. I know I'm a walking contradiction. But A, I've only been there maybe a little over a year. And B, I'm my own worst client. <laughs> I'll design your bathroom any day long. All and then long, you leave in three days. But I, but I know where to stop. <laughs> right. Like I know where the finish line is. For me, the finish line, I don't know where it is. It's out there somewhere. So anytime I'm done designing my space, I feel like, I don't feel like I'm done. I feel like I've compromised. Well, I've settled. Of, <laughs> I know. Best of luck with your own bet. How many Thank do you, you have? How many do you have, Lisa? There's three. All right, so I'll you have get to three them. rooms to go. Maybe future episodes of Bath Crashers. Oh, you can crash yourself. That's, that's bringing you into my house. <laughs> we'll see, right. maybe. You can go to Matt Minster's house. He will be setting up shop <laughs> at the Buffalo Home Show today. You can check out showtimes and ticket information at buffalohomeshow.com.